What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome to the secret pistol in Modern Warfare 2. Right off the bat, I know you're looking at this, you're just like, okay, that's the X-13 auto, we know this pistol's in the game, but did you know that there is actually an attachment that will change this pistol into a different gun? As you can see here, I have the X-13 maxed out, I have gold camo for it as well, and if I go to the firing range, you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like. I mean, it's basically the Glock. We do an inspection, I mean, if we shoot it and stuff, it's the Glock from the original Modern Warfare 2. But as you level this thing up, you'll notice that there's a barrel attachment you get that will completely transform this gun into a different one. Scroll on over to the barrel attachments and you'll see you get this one called impact point the description says transform your x13 pistol into a deadly and compact smg with this carbine kit opens up options for stocks and under barrel attachments to craft an extremely stable weapon system i have used this thing a little bit but i wanted to make an entire video on this because it's actually a really cool and fun pistol to use we're back at the firing range and as you can see if we inspect this pistol it's completely different now as far as it goes for what kind of pistol this is i'm not really too sure it kind of makes me think of the tmp pistol from the original modern warfare 2 maybe even kind of like the Cap 40 from Black Ops 2 or the L car from Black Ops 3. If you fire it, this is what it sounds and looks like. Yeah, and so far for Modern Warfare 2, this is definitely one of the more interesting things that you can do in the gunsmith. The pros of this barrel attachment is that you actually get expanded gunsmithing, so we can put different attachments on this pistol that we couldn't access before. It says it has better recoil control and hip fire accuracy, which it does seem like that's the case. And obviously the big trade-off is that you lose some mobility in the process. So let's start building the gun. Okay, so akimbo is not an option. This thing would be crazy if you could get it akimbo, because you can still put a 50 round drum mag on this, which I'm definitely going with because this is going to be insane. Not too sure about the ammo types. If I'm not mistaken, I think these underbarrel attachments, we didn't have access to these before. Kind of want to go with the pineapple grip. Oh, we could tune all the attachments too. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, well, we'll up the recoil steadiness all the way and the damage range. I don't have all of the suppressor options yet, but we can still throw one on. This one will be pretty good. Recoil smoothness, I believe, is actually fake, so we'll just go with the ADS. Probably throw on this laser right here, the FJX Diode 70. I think that should be good though. I mean, this thing looks crazy. Let's see how it actually is in the firing range. Okay, so that's like super accurate. It's a little bit slower though. Oh my lord, I can't wait to use this. This thing is gonna be so cool. But yeah, that's the build. Let's go find a game. If you guys are excited to see the secret pistol in Modern Warfare 2, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I have an absolute blast using the goofiest guns and all these cursed builds on Modern Warfare 2, so I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. Should be a fun one. But before we dive into a game, I wanna give you guys some amazing news. I actually got this game working right on my PC. The last video I made, the ugliest gun in Modern Warfare 2, yeah. This game was still really not running right on my PC. I had some older Nvidia drivers, which was actually recommended because at that time having the latest ones was not recommended but even then i was getting all kinds of weird performance issues on the pc at the time of recording this video i haven't edited that video yet but i'm pretty sure i was still having like pc stuttering and optimization issues but i can confidently say at the time of recording this video right now my pc is running the game just completely fine and much like showing off the secret pistol i will give you guys the secret to making this game run right so first things first nvidia had an official patch which is what i was waiting for for modern warfare 2 they claimed it would help optimize the game and fix the stuttering so i got the patch partially because i had to there was actually Actually no option. I straight up couldn't even launch Modern Warfare 2. So I got the patch and then I was playing the game and nothing changed at all. It was still bad. Ooh. My biggest issue with Modern Warfare 2 on PC at that point in time is that it would take me about a minute to a minute and a half to load into a match properly and not have the game stutter like crazy. And funny enough, the way that I ended up figuring this out had nothing to do with PC. It was actually because of PS4 and PS5. So like I mentioned before, because of all the PC issues, I've mostly been playing on PS5. Recently, Karina got her PS5 set up and Matt still plays on PS4. And one thing that we noticed playing together is that he always loads the slowest. And sometimes Matt loads so slow that he doesn't even make it into the game and he just gets kicked. And that's what kind of gave me this revelation. Like, Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with your GPU. Maybe a lot of it has to do with the hard drive. I discovered recently that the optimization issues for this game have more to do with fast loading on SSDs versus how painfully slow the assets load on a regular hard drive. So what I did right now, which is what fixed everything for me on PC, is I uninstalled Modern Warfare 2 on my hard drive. You know, like a standard speed hard drive, and then I installed it to my SSD. That literally fixed everything. I have absolutely no issues with this game. Now, I can't guarantee that this would fix everyone's problems because everyone's got different PCs, we have different builds, but I still wanted to share this information with you guys because I know how frustrating it can be to have this game not run right. And if you have a decent GPU and you have an SSD that you can install the game on, then I would definitely recommend doing that. You'll still probably have to play on lower settings. I mean, I'm still playing on the exact same settings that I was on before. For anyone watching this video, I don't want to bore you with all the settings, but I will post them at the end of the video. I'll have a timestamp if you want to skip ahead to that. Or if you want to just chill and watch me use the secret pistol, you could do that too. But I will share my dank settings with you guys so this whole time i have just been casually using the pistol and my god this thing's a beast it's time to kill is not that fast but this build of it is so accurate and really what transforms this gun so much is the fact that the x13 on its own is kind of inaccurate you spray a lot of bullets but it doesn't really do much but this version of it is actually pretty good 
I do a knife due to the card timing. Yeah, okay, we're slightly going negative. I want to try to actually do well with this pistol. I already know it's not going to be easy. I mean, the X13 is kind of one of the worst pistols in the game, but this conversion kit for the gun actually makes it more usable. And if you're using the X13 and you're either trying to level it up or get gold camo for it, I would recommend to build like this or if you just use it akimbo because it gets really good when you have a Kimbo and 50 rounds. It's weak, but you have a lot of ammo to spray. I love it, dude. I'm actually loading in just completely fine. Like right about now, I'd be stuttering and lagging and I wouldn't be able to play for like the first minute of the game. Now I can run out and die instead. Oh shit. Yep. Nope. Ooh. Hide behind the palm tree. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god, I can't get any kills with this thing. <laughs> Whee! That's got a pretty good hit fire. Come on, he's right here. Teammate. Ooh, on go. Ah! On go. I can't move. Uh, I know you're over there. What? Where are you going? Ah, I can't win that. Oh, they got the, de they got the decoy. <laughs> I fell for it. Uh, I'm getting shot in the back too. Who shoot me? Yo, I'm gonna just sit on the hard point because this match sucks. Come on, yeah, I already know you're coming. Come on. Oh my. Woo! Let's go. Pistol feed. Come on. I want it. I want it. Woo! We're going in. Oh, you're done. Nope. Oh, come on, dude. Probably a terrible place to peek, but that was a good, nice little streak. Oh my goodness. What, what, what happened to all those bodies? Why are they just flying around like that? I, I, what is happening with this lobby right now? <laughs> yeah, you died to your death. Wait, there was, there was another guy there? What? She's Louise, guys. Come on. Oh. Woo! Oh. Oh. Is that the teammate? What are you? Got you back. Got you back. I love the voice crack of that voice line. Got you back. I'm gonna get you. Oh, that's a fake guy. Ah! <laughs> One thing I think would be hilarious is if we could get a bunch of people in an open lobby and like put the field upgrade charge rate to 10 times and try to throw down as many inflatable decoys as we can. Since I finally have this game working better on PC, I'm definitely considering doing open lobbies on here. Although one thing I'm still waiting for Infinity War to add is the ability to save custom game modes in custom games. That would be a huge game changer. We could still do open lobbies, but it would be extremely annoying and frustrating to set up because every single time you want to host a new like game mode or map, you have to end the lobby and start it over. It is really awesome that they have game codes in this game for a private match, but it's still going to be kind of annoying to host. But like I mentioned before, if you're going to be a part of sub-only open lobbies, there's a link in the description to join the channel, become a member. I don't know exactly when we're going to start doing Modern Warfare 2 open lobbies, but we're going to do some awesome shit on here. Come on. Oh, nasty. What are you doing just waiting there? What the? Dude, he was about to turn on. What the? Come on, we got this shit. Let's go. We did it. We won an amazing raceway game. This map is amazing when you're going pistol only. Just kidding. Still managed to get two minutes on the objective and 36 kills. Not bad. Still barely breaking a 1KD. I'm gonna try to have like a really good game with it. Try to hit some feeds with it or something. I wanna pop off with it. I mean, it's not bad. Also, yo, I've had so many people point out the fact that there's an infinite warfare supply drop robot charm in this game. I haven't checked it out in game yet and I'll try to look for it. But let's see what map we get first. This will determine everything. Give me some of that albagra. If it's Tarak, it, how did I know? Okay, it's time to look at the charms. Not using the pistol on that map. Trying to remain sane today. Wait a second, hold up. Oh, do I have the, I don't think I have the plat challenges yet. Oh, I don't. Oh, I was gonna say, I could maybe start going for long shots with it, but I'm still working on one more pistol. Yeah, it's this one, the P890. I haven't finished gold for this one yet. But yeah, let's go to private match. We'll go to CDL. I think we can check out the charms there. Charms. Oh wait, no, they, they hid them now. Oh, come on, what? Dude, at one point you could look through all the charms. Oh, well, I guess I could just find a picture that someone tweeted at me and put it on the screen right now. Now that's a weapon charm. You know, if that isn't a bundle, I'm probably gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> love Infinite Warfare. I love this game! I'm almost out of G Fuel, which means I won't be able to talk. To be perfectly honest, I have not been feeling 100%. I mean, ever since the Modern Warfare 2 SD tournament on Monday, basically lost my voice, but I've been like trying to get it back. But now I'm not too sure if I'm like getting sick or if I have a cold or something. <laughs> That had to be one of the best door peaks I've seen. This really is modern door fair too. Pop the daddy. Run. I win. Come on, fuckers, go to the fucking HQ. Why are you playing HQ if you're not gonna stand on it? Oh my God. Go to the objective. <laughs> Why are you playing HQ if you're not gonna actually touch the headquarters? Are you allergic? Sorry, I can't play the objective. I've got a headquarters allergy. Ninkum poops. Yeah, I... 
You know, I'm trying not to lose my voice any more than I've already lost it, but it's just gonna keep going. I keep telling myself this every time I get on the game. Don't yell, stop getting mad. Literally impossible when you have teammates like this. Okay, so I know I probably should have asked this at the beginning of the video, but what kind of gun do you guys think this is? Do you think it's the TMP from the original Modern Warfare 2, or is it more like the L-Car, Cap 40, or is it something completely different? <laughs> the teammate didn't make it. Well, you know what? If I'm using this stupid-ass class and I'm the best in here, I gotta leave. Let me just take off headquarters. I just straight up can't deal with it. I had a teammate who was just camping in the back, shooting a wall. Bro doesn't even know what this game is. Don't know what this person is doing, but okay. Ooh. Enemy no! Oh, he's in survivor. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm gonna go back for him. You actually got back up from that. Disgusting. <gasps> Quad feet? No! <laughs> I can't get any luck today, dude. To be honest, this build of the gun is a little too slow to like keep going back and forth for these kills, but I'm trying. <laughs> Whenever you see someone go into Survivor, just turn around, teabag, and then shoot them. If they watch that kill cam, they will be so humiliated. Just dump a couple of turds into their mouth before killing them. <laughs> And there's a good reason I'm suggesting that. Now, I don't think I've mentioned this in a video yet, but I definitely tweeted about it. Apparently, if people are using Survivor, sometimes it's bugged and your camo challenges will just not track. And I'm not talking about just knocking people down into Survivor. I'm talking about doing that and then killing them. Look, the game's got a lot of bugs and this is one of them. I'll give you my exact example. I was playing a game on Albagra and I got four kills with a shotgun, right? Two of those were on regular enemies and two of those other kills were on a guy using Survivor. Now, I didn't just knock the guy down. I knocked him into last stand and then I killed him. I had gotten four kills and it did not count towards the get three kills without dying 10 times challenge. I had people trying to debate me on that. I don't know why you would. What, do you not want camo challenges to track properly? It's an issue and Infinity Ward's got to figure it out and fix it. I feel like it especially doesn't make sense because you not only have to knock the person down, but then you have to kill them. You have to put a lot more effort and time into trying to kill that person. So yeah, they got to fix that. We got border crossing again. Yo, I'm going to go for the cross map too. I know the exact spot to shoot it on this map, but I haven't had any luck in pubs. If you've been around the channel long enough, then you would have seen that I've done map tutorials in older Call of Duty games. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's the spot, come on. No, I didn't get anyone. I can show you guys too. I tested this on bots in S and D and I got a quad. Yeah, I wanted to ask you guys that too. Would you like to see map tutorials come back? Because I actually really like this game and there's some really unique stuff that you can do on all of these different maps. I could do my best to cover the cross map noob tube spots, cross map throwing knife spots. Hiding spots for like hide and go seek. Camping spots for people who want to be sentinels, but also for people who want to know how to counter them. I actually like doing stuff like that. Also, I'm still using the wrong class right now. I, I gotta switch back, dude. But at the same time, I want to level up this pistol. Come on. Give me the XP. Yes. Okay, we gotta switch back. Ooh. <laughs> They're both right here. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? This man wants to be part of the engine, but the car is destroyed. Teammate, he's right next to you. What are you doing? Oh, one more. Rage, fury, irritation, humiliation. <laughs> he was running to the hard point, but I was trying to get his attention, but he didn't turn back. By the time he did, I was already dead. Aw. Oh. Ooh, that long shot though, let's go. Oh god. Bro, I'll punch you. <laughs> he got distracted. <laughs> this class is so evil. Oh, nope. Hey, I got something. Wait, how did I get something done? How did I get a camo challenge done? I already have gold for this. I can't go for platinum yet. How did I get a camo challenge done? <laughs> Look at this dude. What are you doing there? Destroy them on the objective, but kill wise, eh, not really. I've been sitting here trying to use this pistol and do well, but even though this is like a secret pistol build and it's completely different, it's still not that good. Not gonna be great for hitting feeds or winning games, but I mean, it is kind of better than just using the regular X13. But real quick before I end this video, let me show you guys my settings on PC. I'm gonna scroll on down to graphics over here. Now, I know it's on full screen borderless, but I would actually recommend full screen exclusive. For some reason, my game keeps switching me to full screen borderless, but I'm still getting decent performance, so I'm just keeping it on. But I would recommend changing it to full screen exclusive. Turn off VSync and the menus in the gameplay so that way you can get maximum frame rate. For custom frame rate limit, this is what I'm rocking out of focus. So like when you're out of the game, it's 30 FPS. When you're going through the menus, it's 100. So that way it's not like maximizing your resources, but it's still pretty smooth. 
And then for gameplay, I have it just turned up all the way. Now I'm still typically getting like 140 to 180 frames, which isn't too bad. I'm playing a 4K 144 Hertz. So, you know, it's, it's not too bad. This is where you can restart your shaders optimization. If the game's like running weird or looking weird, gamma is at 2.2, brightness is just at 50. Everything else is off. Don't play a focus mode. I don't like HDR. So yeah. Switching on over to quality. I have it as custom. Now I'm running NVIDIA DLSS because for the 3090, I get like way more frames when I'm running this in performance mode. I have the sharpness turned all the way up, so it actually looks like really sharp. It looks crisp. Have the video memory scale at 85. I mean, if you're recording, then you're going to want to have this at 85 or possibly even lower. If you're someone who's just going to play the game and you're not going to record anything, turn this up as high as you can. Texture resolution at low. This is actually a very heavy one, so I would recommend putting it to low. Texture filter at high. Nearby level of detail low. Distant level of detail low. Clutter draw distance short, particle quality high. I think in the video I was watching, having this on high actually helps with the performance versus running it on low for whatever reason. But then particle quality level you put on low. Bullet impacts and sprays. I mean, you should probably keep this on for information. It's effect on the CPU and GPU is low anyway, so you should be fine. Shader quality I put on high because apparently, you know, it can glitch and bug out the camos, especially gold. That's where the whole cheese camo meme came from. But uh, if it's looking weird, you can just switch it back between low, medium, and high and it should fix it. Next up, we have tessellation off. Terrain memory is on max. On-demand texture streaming is off. This is one of the worst ones you could put on. I just accidentally put it on. Fuck no, I don't want it. This setting uses your internet to download higher resolution textures, which is just pointless. I really do feel like infinity war should just allow us to download a high-res texture pack so we don't have to have this setting at all but moving on streaming quality is on low volumetrics on low deferred physics quality is off water caustics is off shadow map resolution for some reason i don't even have a setting that makes no sense i'd probably just put that on low screen space shadows off spot shadow quality low spot cache low particle lighting low ambient occlusion off screen space reflections off static reflection quality low Weather grid volumes off. So you can either just put them on low or just turn them off entirely. Same with these coming up. I mean, NVIDIA Reflex I have on. I personally don't like to run it with boost because I feel like it actually runs the GPU too hard. Depth of fields, motion blur. I mean, some of this stuff is preference, but I just put all of this off. And that's gonna do it for the quality settings. I mean, as far as it goes for, you know, like your view settings, that's your own preference. For first person and third person camera movement, I recommend lowering this from the default to the least amount. So that way it's not shaking the camera. And on PC, I'm playing at 120 field of view, but just know that the wider your field of view is, the more your PC has to lower things off in the distance so just be aware that running a really high field of view is also more demanding on your pc or your console but yeah i mean i still run my field of view maxed out everywhere on pc and i even have the weapon field of view on wide instead of defaults so that way your weapon looks smaller and it doesn't take up as much of the screen for visibility but yeah these are the settings i'm currently rocking until they have better optimization and i can turn my graphic settings up and for playing the game at 4k 144 hertz it's actually pretty good but that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed watching me use the secret pistol in modern warfare 2 if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more goofy builds or some cursed guns in Modern Warfare 2, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. They're, st they're still contesting. Where is he? Two circles. Ooh, my beast. You cannot stop Drexel Prime. Oh, I got the beast. You already let's go.